In the Just a Fact segment of today's Saving America, we are talking about the bungled COVID vaccine distribution in the United States. And as people who have seen prior editions of Saving America are familiar with my book, The Decline of America, 100 Years of Leadership Failures, you know that one of my major concerns about the future of America is the failure of the bureaucratic state at federal, state, county, and local level. We have done a lousy job of running this country pretty much for the last 40 to 50 years we've been going downhill. We cannot continue to do this. And the distribution of the vaccine is yet another exhibit of how poorly we run this country, how poorly our administrators are doing for the American public. And this is so critical at this time. In order to achieve herd immunity, we must inoculate through vaccine as many people as possible and combine that with the number of many, the millions and millions of people who've recovered from the virus who have some type of immunity uh, at about the 70% mark, 60 to 70%, according to Dr. Fauci at the Centers for Disease Control, we should achieve what's called herd immunity, which means this will no longer be a pandemic in the United States. To do that, we need to get that vaccine out and we need to do it effectively. I do not criticize the triage system that was developed. We have the 1A, the 1B, and so forth. What I'm critical about is it appears they've done at least a fair job of taking care of the 1A vaccination system for healthcare workers and other critical care workers. Although I've heard people who have administrative positions in hospitals are getting the vaccine. I question that. I also question the fact that if you're shooting up the healthcare workers, their exposure is also tied to their spouses. To me, it doesn't make a lot of sense to shoot up a healthcare worker and not shoot up their significant other or their spouse seems like it would be an expedient way to get this vaccine out to as many people as possible. But let's move down one level to 1B. These are people with significant health issues or over 65. We have chaos. Chaos is currently reigning and we cannot do this and have an effective vaccine distribution. Uh, City of Houston opened one vaccine open distribution center on Saturday. I understand there were long lines. By Sunday, there's no lines. Why? Because poor location, poor distribution, poor information to the public. I'm not sure who knew about it Saturday in order to show up to get the shots. I don't know who didn't know about it on Sunday who were unable to show up and get the shots. So We've obviously got to set up a large number of vaccine distribution centers, and we've got to get the information out to the public, to the the man and woman on the street, so they know where to go, when they're eligible, and when they can get in there and take care of America by achieving herd immunity. So that is a, that's key point number one. Key point number two is don't mess with science. The one of the key successes of the Trump administration was Operation Warp Speed, where the United States government funded billions and billions of dollars to have this vaccine distri- developed very quickly. There are two vaccines available in the United States, and those are all key accomplishments. Those are good things that we've done as the United States government in cooperation with private industry. Now, the question is, I heard on the news this morning, there's some discussions about, well, maybe we'll give people half a dose. Maybe we won't give them the second dose for five or six weeks instead of three or four weeks. And um, maybe we'll play with something else. Folks, that is the wrong approach. If the vaccine companies thought less would do more, they would have done it already. Now, Certainly, this is a moving target. Things may be adjusted in the future, but I don't want numbnuts wandering around in the community who've done such a lousy job of running the community or in the media telling the rest of us how vaccines should be distributed. Let the vaccine 
developers, these major pharmaceutical companies, the medical doctors and the, the incredible researchers who work with them make those key decisions, not bumbling administrators. And that is just the facts for our very first Saving America for 2021. Thank you for joining us.